Hey now! Hi everybody, Grimmy here. Today we have a special episode, special cooking episode. Today we're going to make a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza with top quality ingredients. So how does one make a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? Well, each game is going to represent one topping on the pizza. Starting first of all, with the dough. So without delay, let's just jump right into making this pizza. First of all, you need a foundation that supports everything that comes after it. So naturally, FNAF 1 is the dough. Scott Hail married with Five Nights at Freddy's as a last ditch effort to create his own style of game. And this is the base of it all. I didn't realize I didn't have a rolling pin at the time, so I improvised like Scott did. I used a stainless steel tumbler to roll out my dough. Next, you need some base flavor. The sauce, of course. I personally like light sauce on my pizza, but FNAF 2 adds a lot of flavor fast by amping up the playstyle to the first game. So FNAF 2 is your pizza sauce. Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is a mixed bag to most. Some love it, some hate it. Others don't even care to play it ever again. So FNAF 3 is a mixed bag of cheese. Mozzarella, provolone, romano, and cheddar cheese to cover our FNAF pizza. Now some people would be okay with this. The original trilogy is where they look at it and go, you know, this is good enough for me. However, FNAF 4 adds a lot more meat and a lot more flavor by turning the first three on its head by creating a prequel. So it's only natural that FNAF 4 is the pepperoni. Now after 4, even more people are satisfied with the quadrilogy of games. And this is the most common order. Crust, sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Only Sister Location got added to the mix. Not a huge fan of Sister Location to be honest, but I can stomach it here and there from time to time. Basically it's just my experience with the game, it just makes me want to cry. Not in a happy, frustrated, or angry kind of way, but this was the first game I noticed that FNAF was starting to take a dip in quality. But hey. Sometimes I can admit and say, Sister Location sounds good right now. So Sister Location is the onions. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Talk about a nice send off to the original story arc. It had everything incorporated from every game that came before it, including the death of everybody involved. In my personal opinion, this is where the franchise should have stopped or taken another direction story arc wise. What complements pizza at this point, especially with onions bringing it all together? Green peppers. Next up, ever hear too much of a good thing? This is where Ultimate Custom Night comes in. It's overloaded, and to be honest, it doesn't need to exist, at least in my opinion but it's loved by many for its grueling patch of endurance, and every animatronic up until this point is added, giving it more flavor. Plus, it technically adds more meat to the original story by being Afton stuck in hell. So more meat, ultimate custom night, is the sausage. The next topping is a huge miss for a lot of people. Mushrooms. Some love it. Some absolutely can't stand the thought of it being on their pizza, and others just plain out hate it. But like it or love it, it's still a topping, and it deserves to be mentioned. So what earns the title of Mushrooms? FNAF World. So just when you thought the meat was over, we get Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Call it a remaster. Call it a reboot. Call it a continuation. Whatever you want to call it, it takes all of the previous games and not only revisits a lot of the classics, it added more structure for the games to come. More structure, more meat. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted is the bacon. Next we have Five Nights at Freddy's Augmented Reality. Dumb, Pokemon, knockoff, cash grab. Only good topping for AR is corn. Cause this game is corny with its reskins of the same animatronics and the body can't digest corn and I can't digest the fact that this game exists. Now this looks like a giant mound of what the f 
But we still have one more game. Security Breach. Security Breach, however, is the topping that we add after the pizza is already done. So first, preheat your oven to 450 and cook your pizza for about 15 minutes, adding a little extra time if needed. Now that our pizza is done, it's time to add Security Breach. What are your thoughts on Security Breach? Are you a fan that loves it just because it bears the logo? Do you generally like it and okay with the fact that a company released a $40 title that they knew wasn't ready to be played on your platform? Are you disappointed that you got Battlefield 2042, Cyberpunk, or now the new term, Security Breached? Or are you absolutely livid that this could be the possible future of FNAF with a botched day one, four months later still not fixed yet, and still a vast amount of updates needed while a bunch of people around you call it an amazing game because it was created with good intentions? Personally, I'm the latter of the group, and there's only one topping to crown what was once a tasty pizza, and we find this topping in a place where a lot of things get forgotten about. The Basement So now that we have our completed pie, looks no longer appetizing and something that I can no longer care about. I hope mainline entries from here are everything you want them to be. I'll continue to help whenever you ask for it. However, for me, FNAF, under steel wool and Illuminex's umbrella, I'm over it. There's only one place where this pizza belongs now.